So what's your name? Emily. And where are you from? From my house. I mean, I... Did you just burp? No, just... <laughs> but there's a car battery. Yeah, car battery. Okay. <laughs> Disability education is lacking as a whole for public safety in general. So the Emily Talk was designed to help not just police officers, but medical folks, anybody. How to interact with her, how to interact with anybody with a disability. I like people to realize that Emily has a place in this world. Uh, this is Emily and her sister, Sarah. Sarah. That's Sarah. Look! <gasps> what is that? What in the world is that? If she doesn't feel well, she doesn't just say, I got a stomach ache or my head hurts. I need you to use your words. Tell me what you need. No! I would just love for her to try new things. <laughs> okay, listen, it's okay. No, it's not. I haven't taught her anything. She's taught me to be patient. She teaches everybody around her to be patient. And that's something that for first responders is naturally very difficult to do, but it's not her job to adjust to me, it's my job to adjust to her. When you think of all the people, wherever you go, how's Emily, what's she doing? There's some people we don't even know, but they know us through her. It's amazing the people she's touched and how many. Yes! Dear Green. Her job is to be happy, and, and, and if that manifests itself in teaching others, then that's her job. 